This workshop is part of a series of Mindscape activities that connects people to nature through art. Mindscape is a Y Valley area of outstanding natural beauty and art space significant project. It's part of the Foresters Forest, the National Lottery Heritage Fund and the Landscape Partnership Programme. Each of the YouTube clips is accompanied by a step-by-step -step activity guide that you can download from the Artspace Sintory website. Hello and welcome to the Mindscape Activities Workshops. For this session, we're going to take a look at image transfer. Now, image transfer is a technique where you take a normal laser colour copy, it could be a black and white copy, and you've got to transfer just the ink layer onto another surface. In this example, it's been transferred onto an old fence part, so an old block of wood. Here's an example of an old second-hand book that I found. The materials that you'll need for this will include some colour photocopies. I've tried to use a nature theme here. Uh, some scissors to cut them out from the paper. I've got some blocks of wood here um, with one of them half painted white. Now that's just to show you what's going to happen when we transfer uh, a colour copy onto either a white background or the normal wood background. With a normal photocopy any bright white colours are achieved from the paper itself. But with this technique, we're going to completely remove the white paper. It's just the ink layer that we're going to transfer onto the different surfaces. It's rather like having a coloured piece of acetate, a coloured acetate photocopy, and you're placing that over your new surface. There will be no white pigment. So you need to think ahead as to what that may look like. We're also going to use an acrylic medium. Now this is a clear, transparent acrylic medium. It looks a little bit like PVA glue. You can get specialist image transfer paste. It's all very accessible online or in art shops. I've got a brush to apply the paste and also I'm going to use a hairdryer at some stage and a little damp sponge to wet the back of the paper. So the first stage is to cut out our image from the photocopy. This is a fairly straightforward picture. It's just an oak leaf on a white background. You may have a photograph of something that already has a background, which you'd need to cut out. And depending on the skills, depending on the dexterity of the people doing this, some people may, a little bit of, may need a little bit of help more than others. The idea is, to cut out your main object, in this case the leaf, as accurately as you can. So I'm going to try and go as close to the edge as possible. It doesn't matter if I had a few little white edges, that wouldn't be the end of the world. But as I say, some people may need a little bit of help at this stage. Okay, so one up leaf cut out. Now, as I said before, the idea is we just want to transfer this ink layer, this laser copy ink layer. It has to be a laser copy and not an inkjet because the paste is wet. If we were to paste onto an inkjet it would reclaim that ink and it would smudge, it would, sm it would smear. With a laser copy any water, any liquid that goes on top of the ink doesn't damage that surface, doesn't damage that image. So I'm going to place it onto this half and half wooden background so I'm going to take my transfer paste and with the ink side upwards, that's really important, it's quite easy 
to think of this as collage and make the mistake of pasting the back, the, the white side if you like. But it's the ink layer that we're trying to transfer. So try and get an even spread of the transfer paste over the ink layer. I'm just going to wipe a little bit of the paste onto the surface there and face down I'm going to apply it onto the block of wood. Using my fingers I'm going to very gently press it down to ensure that I've got a good contact because hopefully what's going to happen is the image transfer paste or this, this clear acrylic medium as is the case here is coating the ink layer and when it's dry when it's fully dry it has such a grip on the ink that when I eventually wet the back of the paper the paper will just dissolve but the dried acrylic medium will have held on to all of the ink colours and give us our photo transfer. So gently just press it down with your fingers just to ensure you've got a really good seal but at this stage try not to wipe any of the acrylic medium back over on the on the paper side. It's not the end of the world if you do. Certainly don't paint over it with your brush. It's just, it's just that it's easier later on when we rub it away. So I need this to dry thoroughly now. This is where the hair dryer comes in. I'll start this now. We'll speed up the video so you don't have to wait the entire length. But I'm thinking something like maybe three to four minutes with a hot hair dryer placed over this so that it fully dries the acrylic medium so it's rock hard. This technique would work if we were to wet the back of this paper for, for, for the final stage and the acrylic medium was still wet. It needs to be bone dry. Okay, so let's start drying and we'll speed up the video for this. Okay, so hopefully this is fully dried now. And the next stage, we're gonna use a bowl of water with a small piece of sponge. The idea is we're now gonna soak the back of our leaf. You can just see the paper saturating there. And in a few seconds time, you should be able to see the original colour photocopy underneath. Now keep soaking this because that's going to soften up the paper fibres and allow us to gently rub the surface and remove that paper layer. You can just see little paper fibres coming off on my finger there. So keep it wet and do be careful of any sharp fingernails or just being too too hard where you're trying to rub it off because it could damage that ink layer that you're trying to transfer underneath. Okay, keep it wet. Now this will take a few minutes. There's no rush, so hopefully people will be patient when they're on this stage. 
I'm going to be particularly careful around the edges. In fact, it would be a bad idea to brush outwards for this particular leaf design, to brush outwards with my finger to rub away the paper layer rather than go the other way and just accidentally lift up that ink layer. I'll speed this video up and I'll get back to the next stage which I should take another three or four minutes to achieve. Okay so I spent a couple of minutes rubbing the paper away. Now take a look at this. It appears initially that all the paper's been removed just leaving that ink layer and you can slightly see the translucent uh, quality of the ink where the white uh, panel, the white side, goes straight down almost through the middle of the leaf. But watch this. If I grab a hairdryer and dry the surface, look what happens. There's still a very thin layer of paper. So though it may look like we've got to the final stage, there's still a bit more work to be done. It's still a, a very thin layer of paper fibres. It's just that they were saturated and became transparent. So again, get back into the gentle rubbing stage and try to remove that final thin little layer of paper fibre. Okay, so I spent about another minute just trying to rub away that final layer and I think I've got most of the paper fibres off now. Um, you can see just down at the bottom some of the original ink layer has slightly come away. Um, now, I think this particular technique lends itself to an image that looks quite weathered, that looks quite rustic, so I don't think that's a problem. In fact, if you do get any pieces that dislodge, that scratch away, don't panic. Maybe later, when it's completely dried, you could get some sandpaper and slowly rub away other areas as well, just to um, try and create a, a very uh, deliberate weathered and um, rustic appearance. So the very last stage is to use some of your acrylic medium again and just like a varnish cover it over the surface of the image transfer and what this will do is again just make any remaining paper fibres slightly transparent so they don't show up, but also fully seals it against your block of wood.